I was about a year, a year and a half into my really quest for self-knowledge when I got completely thrown on my ass by a girlfriend with a very innocent question. And she meant it out of pure love, but it made me kind of rethink everything I was doing. Welcome to Body of Truth. I'm Rebecca Windsor. Body of Truth was born um, after my marriage fell apart and I needed to rebuild my life from the ground up. I knew I needed to make some real fundamental changes. And I found in my journey uh, to relearn who I was and to really to remember to lean into my intuition and listen to my inner voice, I discovered that when I, as I'm making these fundamental changes, in order to make them really last, instead of relying on willpower, the ability to bring it up and through my body as an actual muscle memory enabled these changes to stick, and my life improved immeasurably. So what started out as a tragedy became a real blessing. I, my goal is freedom, and I want that for you too. And I share everything that I've learned on my way, and it is a daily task to set myself free. I really want you to start to listen to your own intuition or maybe start your own self-inquiry. So here's the question that she posed to me, very innocently. She said, do you love yourself? And I said, of course I do. You know, I'm here, I'm doing this work. I have this new appreciation for who I am. I know I have gifts that I never used to admit to or I, I try to like downplay them. Like, I don't know why, how, how like for some reason women are told to like hide their gifts or like be very shy or falsely modest about them. I don't do that anymore. Um, but she was like, no, Rebecca. She's like, I'm not asking about do you love what you do? I'm saying, do you love who you are? are and I thought that question through and I was like well what does she mean and then it slowly dawned on me that the love that I gave myself was based upon my own production as a person meaning if I did all my tasks for the day if I was performing well at work if I was feeling loved and appreciated so it was like by my acts that's how I showed myself love. And she said, Rebecca, your love for yourself is completely conditional. And my, um, the bottom of my heart dropped out. And she was 100% right. I had never allowed myself to just be. Now, we are all programmed to do. And do is important. Setting goals, taking charge of your life, putting forth action to get yourself what you really want and making one step towards that every single day, not just theoretically, but in the world, that is how you change your life for sure. However, that needs to be balanced with a love of yourself exactly as you are with no output. I'm telling you that when she first said that to me, I was shocked into silence, which is a very rare occurrence for me. Usually for me to learn new concepts, I want to discuss them. I want to talk them out. I want to share them, right? Not this time. This time I got silent and I turned inward and I closed my eyes and searched around inside myself to see how I felt. And I realized that I was holding back love for myself unless I thought that I had performed well that day, or that I had achieved a certain goal that I had in mind. That's a little fucked up. So we wonder why we don't, you know, we sometimes it's easier for us to offer unconditional love, say to our children, right? Or to our loved ones, than it is to offer unconditional love to ourselves. Our My love to myself was absolutely conditional. And I'm still working on that balance because I want the balance of appreciating me just as I am, but I also appreciate my push and my drive and my discipline. So I don't want to just be, I will never just be the yogi on the mountaintop where simply being is enough. I love to do, and I think doing 
in the world is how we live, right? But balancing that with actual unconditional love for yourself and from God for you, knowing that whatever your relationship is with your creator or whatever God is for you, the universe, Jesus, who, however that shows up for you, know that that creator also unconditionally loves you. But you also owe it to that creator to shed a little, to share a little bit of that unconditional love with yourself. So what I ask you to consider and ponder today is can you love yourself not doing and just being? And take 10 minutes and sit with yourself just being and see what comes up for you. I hope this is helpful or at least thought provoking. If you found it helpful, please subscribe share it with someone you think would benefit. Always don't forget, click the link below. I have some really exciting things coming up. I don't want you to miss out. And I upload every day and I will see you tomorrow.